So you're planning dinner for Valentine's Day. For this or any other date type dinner, there are always some things to consider. You know you're going to want something special because you're out to impress. Something colorful and romantic and easy. You don't want anything complicated on date night. First thing to do is look at what you want to serve and think about production. Do enough in advance so you can actually spend most of your evening with your partner or date and not in the kitchen over the stove and make something you're comfortable with. A romantic date or any dinner involving company is not the time to try out a new recipe. Practice a new technique ahead of time if you can and then stay within your comfort zone. I've come up with a simple menu, salad for the first course or as a side, a hearty main course and a rich dessert involving plenty of chocolate. Feel free to use these recipes or use the tips and improvise to come up with a perfect menu for your evening. You can also go online to find an additional photo gallery with over 30 recipes made just for two. Perfect for Valentine's Day or any dinner type date. Let's start with our salad. This is a colorful roasted beet and carrot salad and most of it can be prepared well in advance. A day or two before you plan to serve the salad, prepare the beets. Heat the oven and place the beets in a shallow baking pan. Add a little water, sprinkle a pinch of salt and add a light drizzle of olive oil to the beets. Cover the pan and roast in the oven until a knife easily pierces the beets, about one to one and a half hours. Cool the beets to room temperature, then peel and quarter, keeping the gold and red beets separate. While the beets are roasting, make your dressing and get a small pot of salted water boiling. Use a mortar and pestle or a spice grinder to grind cumin seeds to a powder. Add some chopped garlic and pound to a paste. Then add a pinch of salt, pinch of cayenne pepper, and the juice of one lemon. When everything's incorporated and the salt is dissolved, drizzle in a little olive oil while whisking. Taste the dressing to make sure you like it, adjusting the flavorings and seasonings to suit your taste. Then cover and refrigerate the dressing until you need it. Add a few lemon slices to the boiling water just long enough to blanch them. This will remove the tartness. Lift them out and cool them in ice water to stop the cooking, then drain and set aside in a bowl. In the same boiling water, add a handful of peeled baby carrots and blanch two to three minutes. This will bring out the vibrant color in the carrots and soften them just slightly. Remove and set aside to cool, don't bother shocking them in an ice bath, and then add them to the bowl with the lemons. Toss the gold beets into the bowl with the lemon and carrots, keeping the red beets separate so they don't stain the salad. Now to the bowl, add the chopped parsley, lettuce, thinly sliced shallot, and a little more lemon juice, tossing everything to combine. Add a couple teaspoons vinaigrette, or just enough to lightly coat. Season to taste and divide the salad among two plates. Separately, toss the red beets with enough vinaigrette to coat, then add the beets to the two salads. Your first course is done. Now for the main course, I've chosen Cote de Boeuf which is basically a monster two pound bone-in ribeye steak for two. This steak is dramatic enough to impress and it's really easy to prepare. Take the meat out at least an hour before you wanna serve it so it has time to warm up. This will help with the cooking. Season the meat well on both sides with salt and pepper. When you're ready to cook, heat a grill until it's really hot. Then adjust the heat to medium high. Lay the meat on the grill and cook about three minutes to get your first set of hatch marks, then turn diagonally to get a good crosshatch. Repeat the searing and crosshatching on the second side. Continue cooking, turning the meat and draining off any excess fat until the center of the meat reaches an internal temperature of about 115 degrees for rare. You can cook it longer if you want your meat well done. Transfer the steak to a cutting board and let it rest for at least 10 minutes before slicing. Go ahead and plan to carve the meat table side. Slice the bone away from the steak, then slice the meat into one half inch thick strips perpendicular to the bone. Are you hungry yet? For dessert, try a frozen chocolate sabayone. It's another dish you can make at least a few days in advance. Sabayone is the Italian version of French sabayone, and it's made using egg yolks, sugar, and a little bit of alcohol, and not much else. In a medium saucepan, Heat heavy cream over medium heat just until it begins to bubble around the edges. This will take about five minutes. 
Remove from heat and whisk in chopped chocolate until the chocolate is melted and incorporated with the cream to form a ganache. Place the ganache in a large bowl set over a bowl of ice and continue to whisk until the ganache chills and begins to thicken. Keep whisking until the ganache has a light whipped cream-like consistency. Remove the bowl from the ice bath and set aside. In a separate large bowl, whisk together egg yolks and sugar until combined and frothy and then whisk in a little port. Set the bowl over a large pot of simmering water making sure the bottom of the bowl does not touch the water. Continue to whisk until the mixture increases in volume and thickens to a thick, foamy cream, easily coating the back of a spoon. The consistency should be similar to that of a very thick hollandaise. Remove from heat and gently fold the sabayone into the whipped ganache. Place the mixture in a baking dish or bowl and cover the surface with a sheet of plastic wrap. Freeze until firm at least one and a half to two hours, up to a few days in advance. This makes a generous quart of frozen sabayone. More than you need for your dinner of two, but you always want leftovers of this dessert. So here you've got it. Three dishes that, with a little advanced preparation, you can easily make for Valentine's Day or any intimate evening. Have fun and good luck.